statewide push to get unlicensed guns off the streets. Anti-ghost gun legislation unanimously passing in the York City Council tonight. CBS 21's Maxine Rose was there when it happened. She's here with us now to explain more on what they're trying to really do to make this happen. Yeah, Jasmine, Joel D, take a look at my phone right here. You can see that is a ghost gun kit, which can be easily found online just a few short clicks away. Now, officials say today that while they're not looking at sites like this one, they or any 3D printers really that can be used at home, they are hoping that they can send a message to people right here in York. And that motion carries and moves forward. Maybe somebody else doesn't have to feel the pain that my family felt when we lost somebody or the years that I lost all the young people that I lost when I was in the school. An ordinance passing in the city council chambers today, sending a plan into motion. What this isn't is a solution in search of a problem. Uh, in fact, this is a problem that demands a solution. That problem, the manufacturing, purchasing and dealing of ghost guns, something local anti-gun violence advocates say has gone on far too long. Localities have been hamstrung for decades from being able to address their needs when it comes to gun violence. Largely, officials say because the gun kits don't have serial numbers and are hard to track. The ordinance, a stopgap measure, allowing York City police to implement penalties for the unlawful use, transfer and manufacturing of ghost guns, like fines from $300 to $1,000 or three months in jail if it's unpaid. Lawfully own a firearm, your right to privately make a firearm will not be infringed upon. This piece of legislation, similar to one passed in the House back in March, which enforces serialization, meaning all parts in the gun kits have to have serial numbers on it before being made or purchased. But the difference here is that you cannot own these kits if you are not a federal firearms licensee. We must do what we can to keep these types of dangerous weapons out of the hands of the wrong individuals, especially like our youth. We refuse to allow our neighborhoods to go back to being war zones. Now, the mayor has 10 days to look at the bill, and if approved, it will be enacted 20 days later. In York, Maxine Rose, CBS 21 News.